Uh, last hour, by the way, we learned that existing home sales for October hit a 13-year low. Um, Realtor.com's chief economist, Daniel Hale, joins us now. Uh, Realtor.com, by the way, is owned by our sister company, News Corp. Uh, Danielle, good morning to you. Is it just the case right now that home ownership has just become unaffordable? Well, home ownership is actually pretty affordable if you've owned your home for quite some time. But if you're trying to buy a home in mm. today's market, it's actually a very difficult time for young people, especially. Um, we've seen in recent data that the home ownership rate for the under 35 cohort has ticked down. We know that down payments are at a record high. So while home prices remain relatively high, housing activity has dropped because it's tough to break in, especially for first timers. And what's going to break this? You know, obviously the Fed's been raising rates, mortgage rates above 7%. Um, people don't want to give up that 3% 30-year fix, so they're just holding tight. So inventory is really low. It's a bit of a logjam. I mean, how long do you see this continuing? Yeah, I think that's right. I think an important contributor to the stalemate are these low mortgage rates that you talked about that many homeowners have locked in, whether they purchased in recent years or whether they refinanced into mm -hmm. a lower rate. And it's hard to give that up when rates right now are double the rates that many homeowners have locked in. So I don't think we're going to see it from existing inventory until rates get back down below 6%, which I don't think is likely to happen any, anytime soon, probably not over the next year. And so I think what we need to see is more building. Con builders have been uh, building single-family homes at the upper end of their recent range, uh, but we need to see even more of that. Our estimates over the last decade suggest that we're about uh, between two and six million homes short. And for context, we build about wow. 1.4 million homes per year. So it's a multi-year problem that we see in the housing shortage right now. You know, it's interesting, Danielle, the, the median age of all home buyers has increased from 31 in 1981 to 49 this year. It's remarkable. I mean, you know, to your point earlier, are younger people just priced out of the market? I think it is very difficult for young people to enter the market right now. I, many of them are priced out. And uh, if they're not priced out, they have to wait longer to get to that age where they've amassed enough funds for a down payment that they can compete mm. with equity-rich existing homeowners in the market. I think also some awareness about the options that are out there today. So for potential first-time homebuyers who happen to be active duty military or veterans, they do have some advantages in the form of VA loans, which allow them to make zero down payments. But many potential veteran buyers don't know about that option. So that is, uh, I think, getting more information out there to potential buyers would be something that could help. I mean, is, you could ask, is renting a good alternative? I mean, for some, there is no alternative, right? So renting is the alternative that many younger households are sticking with. And mm. with rental construction up at multi-year highs, uh, then that's a pretty decent option. The price is high, but mm. we think it's likely to remain relatively stable because of that influx of rental supply that's on the market. So uh, you're not going to see rents climb as fast. It does make the option a bit of a more uh, financially beneficial one, at least in the short term. But ho households that can't get into home ownership are missing out on the equity building uh, that has led right. to a lot that's of right. wealth creation for existing homeowners. I have to leave it there, but it's a challenging environment for sure. Danielle Hale. Danielle, thank you so much for your expertise for this morning. Me.